Hello and welcome to your video. In this video, we'll be looking at resetting the username and password for your Joomla backend in case you lost it or do not have access to your website anymore using phpMyAdmin. Uh, phpMyAdmin is the control panel for your MySQL database and you'll find it in your cPanel login. In case you are using a different web hosting, you'll still have access to phpMyAdmin. The very first step is to making sure what database you use and what your database prefix in case you have multiple installations, which some of you may do. So let's go to the file manager real quick. You can do this via FTP as well if you prefer, but I'll be doing it via file manager in this case. Go to public HTML or wherever your domain is pointed and try to look at the configuration.php file. So in this file, I can see my database is this one and the database prefix is this one. So it'll be easier for me to locate this in case I have multiple databases or multiple Joomla installs within the same database. In this case, I do not have that. So I'm gonna use this information and then sign into the phpMyAdmin. Once we are here, we can locate our database, which is tmptest underscore asteroid, which is this one. Now, as you can see, there are about two pages of tables, but all of these start with this same prefix that we have here. So we only have one installation. The users in Joomla are saved in the users table. So we need to look for users. So that's prefix underscore users. We can see we have one user here, which is a super admin user, the one that is created during the install. Let's go ahead and edit this real quick and change the password. So we cannot see the, what the password is just because that's the way hashing in Joomla or and other major platforms work, but we can always reset the password. So the basic encryption we can do is MD5 and Joomla will take care of the rest the very first time we log in. So let's say we wanna change our password to admin123 or you know something complicated if you may. Uh, let's say, you can say asteroid test and then some special characters and numbers here. I'll copy this to my clipboard just so I have it and then we'll save it and we can see there's a hashed value for the md5 and there's a username so I can go admin and then this new password and there you go we're able to log in and again if I go back to this row and refresh we will see the hashed value there so Joomla does take care of it every time we log in make sure there's a proper hashing mechanism in place and that's how you reset your password using phpMyAdmin thank you so much for watching